Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to calculate sales tax by hand. So we're going to write everything out without using a calculator. This will show all of the steps for calculating sales tax and then the total cost with the sales tax included. Let's jump into our example where we have $59.49 plus a sales tax rate of 7.5%. So the first thing that we need to do is to calculate how much sales tax we will be paying. We do this by multiplying the price by the tax rate. Now the tax rate is in the form of a percent. So we want to get this percent to decimal form. Percent means per 100. So we divide the percent by 100 to convert it to a decimal. We can do this by moving the decimal twice to the left, and it's as simple as that. So let's move our decimal twice to the left to change this to decimal form. So I'm going to rewrite it underneath here. That way I have enough room. So we have 7.5% sales tax. Let's divide that by 100, which we can do by moving the decimal once and then twice to the left. That changes our percent to a decimal. We fill the tenths place with a zero, and I'm going to put a zero in the ones place as well to show that we do not have any whole numbers here. So our decimal form of 7.5% is 0 0.075. Once we have that, we can multiply our price by that decimal, and that's going to give us 7.5% of 5949. So let's multiply our original price by the tax rate in decimal form. So we have 59.49 times 0 0.075. And I'm going to go to the right in order to solve this. So when we multiply decimals, we can take the decimals out and then place the decimal in our answer at the end. So let's do 5949 times 75. And again, we will worry about the decimal at the end. So 5 times 9, 45. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 is 24. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 2 is 47. And then 5 times 5 is 25, plus 4 is 29. So we are done with this 5, the 4, the 2, and the 4. We need our 0 here because we are moving one place value to the left. And we start with 7 times 9, which is 63. So carry our 6. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 6, 34. 7 times 9 is 63, plus 3 is 66. And then 7 times 5 is 35, plus 6 is 41. So now we add... 5 plus 0 is 5, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 4 is 11, 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 6 is 16, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4, and then we have a 4 over here. So now we place our decimal. So we look back at the original problem and see how many digits are to the right of a decimal or behind the decimal. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five digits are to the right of a decimal within our original problem. That means our answer needs five digits to the right of the decimal. So we can count off one, two, three, four, five. Our decimal is placed in between the fours. Let me rewrite our final answer here without those lines underneath. Now we are working with money. So whenever we are working with money, our final answer is going to go to the hundredths place. So we need to round this decimal to the hundredths place. We have a six in the hundredths, 
we look at the digit to the right, we have a one, so that means we stay the same. Our answer is going to be $4.46. So that's how much we are paying in sales tax. That's 7.5% of $59.49. Once we have that information, we take the original price and add that sales tax. That's going to give us our final price, the total cost. So we need to do our price of $59.49 and then add our sales tax of $4.46 and that will give us our final price, the total cost. So let's go to the right and add these. Now when adding decimals, we need to line up our decimals. So we have 59, 49, and then 4, 46. So lining up those decimals will line up all of our places. So let's add the hundredths first. 9 plus 6, 15. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 4 is 9. Bring our decimal straight down. It's lined up throughout the entire problem. 9 plus 4 is 13. And then 1 plus 5 gives us 6. So we get $63.95 for our total cost, that final price with sales tax included. So let's write that over here. So $63.95. And 95 cents for our total cost there. So there you have it. There's how you calculate sales tax by hand. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.